The Centre for Policy Studies is the leading independent think tank in Britain. Founded in 1974 by Sir Keith Joseph and Margaret Thatcher, it takes the brightest ideas from brilliant minds from all around the country to develop policies based on its founding principles – free markets, low tax, a small state, national independence and self-determination. It advocates these policies directly to politicians, to the media and to all those interested in public debate in Britain. The centre was established to challenge the post-war consensus towards Keynesian economics and champion economic liberalism. You have to look back, and at the time, centralised controls, centralised price controls and planning had been tried and failed. Keith Joseph and Margaret Thatcher felt that the Heath government's centralist policies, emanating as much as anything from Chris Patton and the Conservative Research Department, were totally unsuitable. They thought somehow they must bring in alternative studies and alternative policies as a result of them. Founding principles was to re-establish the importance of uh, individual liberty and markets. And that broadly speaking, and if you look back through history, markets have supplied needs and wants. And the government's attempt to supersede the market, as in communist Russia, fail. So the attempt was to get back to a society where, which was free over government controls, where market entrepreneurialism could do its stuff. The centre was hugely influential during Margaret Thatcher's administration, operating as a key driving force towards her hallmark policies of privatisation, deregulation and monetarism. It had a tremendous impact in that the, the sale of council houses, the denationalisation programme, the whole question of encouraging individual savings, um, all came back into fashion and were executed and proved to be right. In the 1990s, the centre continued to stay relevant by publishing reports designed to outline how the Conservative Party could renew itself after electoral collapse. Today, the centre releases regular publications designed to influence government policy, with a particular interest in securing the conditions for Britain's economic recovery. I would say to you that being chairman of the CPS is probably about the most relaxing job that you can do. That's because you don't have to wake up in the morning and wonder what it is that you believe in. Free markets, a small state, low tax, independence, individuality, self-determination. We're a think tank, so we believe in what Bertrand Russell called the painful necessity of thought. In July 2011, the centre appointed Tim Knox as director. The Centre for Policy Studies will establish its position at the centre of the economic debate. We believe that growth, free markets, competition and low tax are the solutions to the problems facing the country and we will continue to develop policies in these areas. We will also promote and develop the Centre for Policy Studies at the forefront of digital media. We believe that the convergence of websites, television, digital media offer great opportunities and challenges to think tanks in terms of both of communicating with the political classes but also the wider public. Mm -hmm.